Hey y'all, I thought today we would make some homemade barbecue potato chips, right? I know, um, I love sweet potato chips, yum, and I thought we'd mix this up a little barbecue flavoring to put on there, make also some Irish potato chips just with your white potato. My papa Ray would grow these every year, and he'd be talking to my grandmother, and he'd say, Mom, uh, honey, cook me up some of them arched potatoes. And I remember I asked my grandmother one time, Mama, what is he talking about when he says arched potatoes? And she'd say, oh, darling, he, that's just his country accent. He's saying Irish potato. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. So anyway, we're going to do sweet potatoes and white potatoes in chips and I've got a mandolin right here and I've got it on about a medium thickness and y'all I got this mandolin for like $9.99 when my boys were little at Walmart okay I don't have any expensive uh, appliances like that I just don't if it's still working I'm still using it and I just chopped the tip end of my sweet potato off and I washed it real good I did not peel it so easy right and I've got a bowl of water right here for us to chop them and get them straight over in that water so they won't turn turn on us and I'm gonna get us in closer here guys for y'all to watch and it's also gonna, so gonna pull that starch out of our potatoes that's what we want to do so our chips will stay crunchy and crispy and be careful of your little fingers when you're on this mandolin I know it's got that guard but when you first start off it's that guard is just wobbly you can't can't use it real well right and y'all see right here these beautiful potato chips that we're making see them there we are aren't those gonna be crispy and crunchy and so flavorful I'm dropping them straight down in this cold water right here I'm going to finish these real quick. And then we're going to do a white potato or an Irish potato. Or like my papa said, an Irish potato. And I cut the tip end of it off so as well. I've got its bowl of cold water right here. And I washed him real good so I wouldn't have to peel it. Same thing. That peeling's got a lot of the nutrients in it, doesn't it? I know. So, be careful of your fingers. Keep pulling them back. Show you these potatoes. Yum! So pretty. You do them as thin as you want. Mine, I can't quite see through them. I like them to still have a little bite, but you can, you can see the light pretty good through them. Okay, guys. All of these go soaking and your water is going to get real milky right off. Well, you're going to pour that out and you're going to put fresh water about two or three times until your water ends up being clear after they soak. Then you'll know they're ready for, to fry. Do you see how the water is milky down in here? It needs to be drained. Yes, on both of our bowls of potatoes, you can see that milky water. So let's drain them. It's just been a few minutes and they came right on out. Y'all see my little red colander down in here? I got this thing. <laughs> You're not going to believe where. At the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> I go to the Opry to take our little boys. That was when our kids were real little. Y'all see I'm rinsing these too. And uh what does mama want to buy in the gift shop? She wants a red colander. <laughs> uh, that was my gift. My vacation gift. But I'm a silly willy. I'm always thinking about cooking. That was years ago. Alright, we're going to start again. I'm going to pour him out. Rinse out that starch out of that bowl. Rinse that starch off those potatoes. Put them back in here and give them a fresh bowl of cold water till they get milky again. There we go. <laughs> yeah, guys, I always said 
you think what I paid for this at the Grand Ole Opry, it at least had a little sticker or metal or something that said Grand Ole Opry on it, but it doesn't. It's just red collar. <laughs> I guess as long as I've got my memory, I'll know where I got it, huh? Okay, y'all. I've got these. They I had I read some three times before mine ended up being clear while they soaked about the last 20 minutes and my water stayed clear. So now it is time to get these little things dried so we can fry them. Yes. And I put them on a cookie sheet just with some paper towels. And then y'all know we've got our Irish potatoes here too, right? Yes. So I'm going to put them on the other half. Don't want to get all that extra water on my paper towels. No, I sure don't. There we go. And I'm going to kind of layer these out while they'll get good and dry for me to fry. We won't put them in that hot grease. We don't want them popping everywhere, do we? I'll even put more paper towels on top and let them dry like this pretty good. And then I'm going to go get us some grease heating up. Y'all, while our oil is heating on the stove, it needs to get to about 300 degrees to fry our chips. We're going to make us a little barbecue um, flavoring to sprinkle on it. It's going to start with two teaspoons of paprika. Just plain paprika, I know, but we're going to get to the smoked paprika. <laughs> Don't y'all worry. So we're going to do one... You don't have to be extremely precise either. Just some barbecue seasoning. And then we're going to need one teaspoon of brown sugar. And I got that before I got on here with y'all. It's already trying to stick in my bowl. And a half teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of onion powder. good so far isn't it then we need one teaspoon of smoked paprika y'all know we were gonna get there didn't you you sure did let's see here let me just get this little shaker off because we need a whole teaspoon we need a whole bunch of you buddy there you go that's definitely gonna give it a nice barbecue flavor isn't it mm -hmm. yes it is next we are going to need some chili powder just a quarter teaspoon of chili powder right here there we go and then um, one half teaspoon of garlic powder there we go and that is it and we've got us some barbecue seasoning right here for our chips it's going to be yummy wonder what it tastes like already. I'm ready to try it, guys. Y'all think? I know. It's not really going to be true. But let's see. Let's see. Just a little bit. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> I'll see y'all over at the stove. We've got our potatoes nice and dry here and drained. Just like we wanted them. And our grease is 300 degrees. So let's get started on these. I'm going to fry them in small batches, okay? So they can uh, be nice and fluffy and get crispy. I'll put a few more in there. Just let them go a few minutes till they get as brown or as crispy as you like. It won't take long. All right, y'all, mine went about five minutes, but John and I like them kind of golden brown like this, okay? And I'm going to put them on this sheet that has this rack on top so the grease, extra grease can drain off. I'm sure y'all can see that. Can y'all see that? Yeah. There we go. That's our Irish potatoes. Spread them out so they can get nice and crispy. Now we will start putting batches of these sweet potatoes. Yum! And again, you can let them go four, five, six minutes, however long you like it, okay? Just like that. 
these sweet potatoes they went closer to eight minutes guys they're a little chewier so they take just a little bit longer but they're so worth it yes they are don't they look good they do they do I know Ooh, get yourself up there okay now I want to show y'all what you do while they're good and hot still hot you take you I'll just use one of these strainers and you put you some of our barbecue seasoning and you shake it around just like that get them good and coated while they're still hot and have a little bit of that oil on there yes yes yum these are going to be so good so good I'm not going to waste any of this barbecue seasoning guys so let's get it all on there there we go and if you've got some big pieces you can just come in here and grate those out with your fingers there we go now do y'all want to try one mm, I do too let's see here guys I want y'all to see how crunchy these are mm. do y'all hear that I know they're so good that was one of the white potatoes this is a um, sweet potato mmm 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 -mm -mm -mm. So good and that barbecue seasoning is so very good.